I got so sick of reviewing 350 V2s over the last seven years, and now that I haven't done one in like six months to a year, it's kind of nice to review this shoe again. So right off the bat, this carbon Beluga pair will look very familiar because it's very similar to the standard Beluga 350 V2s. The only real difference is the difference in tone on the upper of the sneaker and also the tone of the midsole of the shoe. When compared to the original Beluga 350 V2, or at least the reflective version of the Beluga 350 V2, you'll notice that the design is almost identical except, of course, for the darker stripes on the side of the shoe and the darker midsole. Soul. And to be honest with you, I actually don't know which colorway I like better, but I'd love to know your thoughts on the differences between these two shoes and which pair you'd prefer to have in your collection. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But getting into the materials that make up this pair of Carbon Beluga 350 V2s, the entire upper of the shoe is covered in your standard Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Prime Knit. In fact, this is the original Prime Knit pattern used on the 350 V2. Over the last seven years, we've had a lot of different iterations of 350 V2 Prime Knit patterns. 